Today's episode of Number Six with Cheese is brought to you by ICX Media. You think as a YouTuber you can handle all that data? Ain't no way, ain't no how. Too much of it. That's why you gotta use an awesome company who can run that stuff through their algorithm and give you awesome insights. Our custom link is below, free to sign up, but today we're hungry. Take me away to Neverland. What colors fade my disbelief and make me forget my memory? Rent a car you can't afford. Put on a song that we both know. Put your hair out in the wind. Put the pedal to the floor. Play your line and take a smoke. Put your broken Two way chicken and waffle first. sandwiches from KFC have been acquired. Jump cut! Fun fact, we tried to do this last week and uh, we went to a KFC and they didn't have it. Ow, ow, ow! So I'm not even touching me. you. Me. I'm not touching you. He hits me a lot so I get nervous. No, I don't. Hi, can I have two of the chicken and waffle sandwiches, please? I'm sorry, baby. I'm not on waffles. I'm waiting on them to deliver me waffles now. I am out of waffles for at least 20, 30 minutes. The sweetest woman of all Ever. time let us know. She was yeah. so cute. Thank you anyways. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, no problem. Have a good one. We did the pickled chicken recently. As soon as my tongue touched the breaded chicken, it was like I dipped it in a jar of pickles. Here we did the hot honey sandwich. Not getting enough of the flavor to really... Yeah. Great chicken, but it doesn't really stand out. So is chicken and waffles as good as chicken and waffles should be from KF? C! <laughs> Second angle from Corey Wagner. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Oh, the pressure's deep. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That looks like a sandwich I would make, where I would just be like, nah, this ain't supposed to be bread, but I'm going to turn it into bread. Yeah. I like that you change who you are as a person when you say it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, chicken looks great. Waffle bread. Chicken looking nice and fat and thick. Are the waffles crispy or soft? They're pretty soft. There's some yeah. good sauce on there, I think. I'm not sure if that they, they, they advertise as having the hot honey sauce, but I don't know if that's I think it's standard. Yeah, I think it is standard, but I don't know anything. New Kentucky Fried Chicken and Waffles for a limited time at KFC. I think the last time we had a waffle as the bread sandwich, we went to White Castle for their Belgian waffle Ooh. slider. Waffle. Kind of looks like a hash brown almost. It's cool they give you the option of bacon or sausage. Not too many places do that. <laughs> that was ages ago, my For it was years ago when we were just young skinny boys. Oh, this is really fun. It is kind of fun. Don't mind me, young woman. Just looking at us, taking a thumbnail. How embarrassing. <laughs> this is the chicken and waffle sandwich from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Cheers. Cheers. I thought they went to just KFC. You might be right. But I looked over here and it says on that bucket, Kentucky Fried Chicken, so I shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Waffles are really tasty, but they're really soft. Super bready. If you are stoned out of your mind, this, yeah. would, this would taste like the greatest thing that's ever been created. Or if you're just hungry, which I am. It's just too bready for sandwich. Yeah, the waffles don't need to be this thick. I appreciate that they're, what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so also, you can get this in just the waffles and chicken on the side, like at a restaurant. We just, we're kind of more of a sandwich. We're more efficient for us. Yeah, I'm barely tasting the chicken. I'm definitely tasting the bread. I'm barely tasting the chicken because how much bread there is. The salty and sweet combating against each other in this way is really fun. Like when you finally do kind of start to taste that all wheat white chicken. I don't know. This is pretty How's the chicken by itself? Good. Yeah. I'm a fan of this. Type chicken with just I'm one. a fan that they're doing this. I love that they made it into a sandwich. They could have very easily not done that. Mm. I don't know, man. I'm a fan. I, I, try, I try with just one bread. Like how if you bought it. Oh, okay. Not a sandwich. You'd probably just be taking bites with just one. Yeah, and you can see the like sauce on there. That Mrs. Butterworth syrup's really good. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I'm a fan, dude. I'm not. All right, that's allowed. I'm not. No, I don't want to hear anything else about it. All right. I'm not allowed to talk about it. I said, shut your mouth. It's not that I don't like it. I don't know. It's not bad. Chicken's dope, though. Chicken by itself is dope. Mm-hmm. Nice catch. Caught my cell phone today. You caught your cell phone? Mm-hmm. Dropped it, took my, my toes, mm, pinched them together, pinched that son of a bitch right between the big toe and the big toe. You're such a gymnast. Mm-hmm. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. We have a bunch of people that donate to our show every single month, month. A ton of saints. These are people who have really kind of gone above and beyond as Sixers. So Absolutely. You get your name called out. You deserved it, people. You know, in school you didn't want them to call your name. You're getting in trouble. This yeah. is like the or opposite you'd have to of read. That. Yeah. So I this you that. never have to read. Yeah. No reading necessary. Zero reading. On our end, a little bit of readings. On your end, None. zero None. reading. Zilch. Patreon number one. Oh man. Dimitri K. Oh wow. I love that first name. I love yeah. that last name. And I love the combination of both. And I love you as a human being. Thank you for supporting our series. I'll kiss you on the cheek one day. And I'm gonna say. Patreon shout out number two to Mr. Curtis Colby. Yeah, very Great specific. Name. Curtis Colby. Not Kobe. Colby. Colby. Colby Jack. I like that. I like how you enunciated that L. That was good. And I like that your last name's a cheese. I respect that. And I, also, is there I more think cheese I, or move? I also think that that 
that might actually be a beef in Japan. Mm. But either way. No, that's Kobe, right? All right. And then there's also a basketball player that played a couple years in LA named Colby Bryant. That's not funny. Out of five, Kobe's wearing the number eight. How many Kobe's mm -hmm. wearing the number eight? You get the chicken and waffle sandwich from Kentucky Fried Chicken, Corey. You're gonna do that to me? I have to. You know I love Kobe Bryant, and then you're, I'm gonna tell you that this is the thing I don't necessarily care about, and you're gonna, all right, fair, uh, fair enough, fair out, enough. Find out this week. But, but I am gonna give a, a decent score. Okay, yeah, dude, duh. Because you know me, I appreciate creativity. Yeah, I love the branding, too. I like that they went and, and gave this a shot. You gotta get at least some points for that. Oh, God, yeah. The thing is, uh -oh. is if you are if you don't like bready sandwiches, uh -huh. much like I don't, right. steer clear, too bready. Yeah. Given all that information, right. I'm gonna give it right up the center 2.5. I kind of figured you were going to, mm -hmm. and I'm glad you did and you didn't just poo-poo poo all over it. No, not a full poo-poo situation. Not a full poo-poo situation. I'm gonna be uh, much higher than that because not only do I have the branding, how it kind of turned out, of course they can always be better with it, but you're also, it's a fast food restaurant. They're also super nice at those locations on Sheridan. I love this one. Very, very nice. Um, I'm gonna and give it a, got a bucket coming out of the ceiling. I mean, come on. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. Mm -hmm. Kobe is wearing the number eight out of five. I do respect you for that because I do agree that the combination of flavors, I definitely did catch a little bit of that. Yeah. I liked that. I don't even do that on purpose. <laughs> I like that. So thank you to our Patreons. Thank you to Kentucky Fried Chickens. All thank of them, thank all you to Chicago's. Kentucky thank you to everybody staring in this car wondering what the hell we're doing. Just keep grading your homework at KFC, you freak. Do you see that? I think there's a guy doing that. <laughs> he is. Imagine your life as a teacher. You go to that, KFC. Dude, you know what you never think when you're a kid as your teacher's grading your test that you put so KFC. much work into what you did and I did at a Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's unbelievable to actually see it in happening in the moment. What's this guy? Now he's yelling at somebody on the phone? We could get a whole soap opera just staring inside of a I, I could see watch. We're incredible. right in front of the door. We uh, should have moved. We didn't. See you tomorrow. Like a...